Hello, friends of Brooklyn. I'm Michael Palsisco, the host of Brooklyn 2.0. And it's a beautiful day in the city of Brooklyn, a beautiful summer day. And what a great way to end the summer season with the picnic in the park, the annual picnic in the park. Go on this journey with me and let's meet some of the vendors. Stay tuned for a great episode. with Jessica, the president of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. It's so nice to be with you at this beautiful picnic. Thank you. Jessica, just what is the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce? Well, the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce is a group of businesses in the community. Um, it's really just a networking opportunity for businesses to get business to business FaceTime. Where do you meet? Where does the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce meet? Well, since we are made up of businesses in the community, we meet uh, monthly at different locations. Um, we have a monthly meeting where we'll have a keynote speaker um, and a luncheon. And then um, we just meet throughout the community at different restaurants and businesses that are interested in hosting and promoting their business and um, any events that they have going on. Say I'm a brand new business in the city of Brooklyn. How would I contact you? Well, you would want to contact uh, myself, Jessica Cliff, or Valerie Thompson. She's the executive director. Um, and you can just go right to our website. This is a beautiful event. Brooklyn Pride citywide. How did you put this event together, and what is the purpose of the event? Well, the purpose of the picnic in the park is to really give back to the community. It's kind of like, um, and I'm sorry, my son is. Kind of a. Yeah. Are we really? No. Oh my gosh. Keep going, Jess. Go. It's a, a kickoff to the fall, I guess, to the school year. It's the last last big shebang of the summer. You know, we end the summer with fireworks, and it's just our opportunity to give back to the community and get everybody together one last time for the summer. Jessica, this is fantastic. I'm going to explore. Thank you. I'm with Dave, the Vice President of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. Dave, it's an honor to be here with you. Thank you. Love this picnic in the park. I'm feeling lucky. I know you have a 50-50 raffle. Who are some of the vendors with the 50-50 raffle? And just what is the purpose of the 50-50 raffle? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, wonderful, wonderful cause. It's, uh, many local businesses um, you know, donate uh, raffle baskets to us. Um, proceeds go back to the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce for numerous um, you know, support through scholarships to teacher grants to just helping the chamber you know, continue to uh, progress and put on great events like this picnic in the park. Dave, I really like how the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce is involved in the community. It's all about the students, scholarship, and the education of the young people. Sure. Dave from the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. I'm with two VIPs from the Brooklyn Athletic Boosters, President Kelly and Vice President Myrna. So great to be here with you ladies. I love the Brooklyn Athletic Boosters. Just what does the Brooklyn Athletic Boosters do for the students of Brooklyn? We raise money for the students to be able to get new uniforms, for them to be able to go to special camps, and to be able to um, be able to participate in some other upcoming events. Do you have any upcoming events coming, Myrna, Vice President Myrna? We have a ring ding coming up, and that's going to be October 6th at Bleachers in Palmer, Ohio. Um, if you're looking to join the Boosters, membership is $10, and that includes 10 free bags of popcorn and entrance into two home games. You can't beat 10 free bags of popcorn and two home games. Join the Brooklyn Athletic Boosters. Go Hurricanes! We've got the events of the events of the summer picnic. It's the Annie Ode Bubble Soccer, and we've got two Goliaths going ahead to head. I'm going to count down. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Oh my! Oh my! History! The Bubble Soccers! 
Oh my! Unbelievable! I've never seen action like this! Bubble soccer at its best! I love Thirsty Dog. Do you have a Labrador lager? I love the Labrador lager. One Labrador lager. I'm thirsty. Awesome. That is smooth. Smooth as silk. Thirsty Dog, Labrador lager. I'm with Tim, the director of business development at the Hoffer House. I love the Hoffer House. I know you're in downtown Cleveland, but you always support the great city of Brooklyn. Can you tell us the upcoming events at the Hoffer House and just what is going on at the Hoffer House? Well, we've got a lot of stuff going on this season at the Hoffer House. We're right now in the middle of our Oktoberfest season. Strangely enough, we start early. Um, all of September, all the way through the third week in October, we'll be doing external events in Medina, in Akron, um, different places around Cuyahoga County. We're in Lor at the Lorraine County Fair all next week. Uh, so we do like to get out into the community and kind of show people that we like to get our face out there and know our, let people know our presence is known. Downtown at the Hopper House, we're mixing up our music uh, venue a little bit. We're putting some uh, new music in our lineup, so a little bit more than just polka, but we still have that traditional. We're going to bring in some singer and songwriters. We have a lot of uh, upcoming Hermes race events that are going on. we got the Brown seasons, and we are partnering with the Browns uh, to provide some food for the Browns players and coaches. So hopefully um, you're going to hear about us on the on the Browns games as well. They're going to be doing some advertising for us. We'll be doing some tailgating at the at the house itself. And of course, we always have a great beer of the month coming up on uh, the first Wednesday of the month. Um, we have our Oktoberfest beer right now, but next month is going to be Fest Beer, which is one of our favorite of the month as well. So always something on the calendar. You can go to the website. We always have a Google Calendar up that tells you upcoming events and entertainment. Get down to the Hoffer House. Broutwurst, pierogies, and German beer, and Tim, the Hoffer House. Another highlight of the picnic was live music. Mike, the manager of the historic Memphis Kitty Park. Mike, I, I was at Kitty Park when I was a kid, and I love it. Well, I think everybody I talked to has been there once upon a time. So. 66 years in the city of Brooklyn. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mike, what did you bring to the picnic today? We brought the best popcorn in the area right here. This is our Kitty Park popcorn, and you will get no other popcorn like this. This is it. This is the king of popcorn. Mike, I'm feeling hungry. You think I can try one of those popcorns? You got it. It's got butter, it's got salt, and it's Kitty Park popcorn. Everything you can want is popcorn right there. Help that is so scrumptious. Kitty Park popcorn. with Rick, the owner of the Bittner Bee Company, and it's all about sweetness. I love honey. Rick, can you tell us the process of just making honey? Well, we, we run 250 colonies. They, they produce the honey. We do the extracting. Uh, it's, it's simple. We just take the honey from them, um, run through a centrifugal force spinner, and, and we keep them separate. We pull honey every three weeks, so we have different kinds of honey from different plants, and honey is made from plants, so this is what we do. This is incredible. Rick, do you think I could try one of these honey candy, this honey candy here? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Is it the same process with the honey candy? It's not really, it's all different, different things. We, uh, we have to buy and resell the candy. Yeah. Everything else we do ourselves. It is a little but, sticky here, but I'll get it. <laughs> a little sticky. They're, they're child proof. I don't know about that, Rick. Okay. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we produce the pollen and all the other products also. 
Rick, that is fabulous. Thank you, Rick. Bittner Honey Company. Thank you. It's not about just food at the picnic, but it's about clothes. And I'm here with Leanna, and I see you have Lulu Row. What is the upcoming fashions for the fall? Fashions for the fall are fitted tops with flowy skirts. This Georgia dress is a long sleeve top and a three tiered skirt. Perfect for the fall, perfect for winter, holiday parties, bridal showers, weddings. Absolutely wonderful. Can I see that Georgia dress? Here is my absolute favorite one, black and white, super classic. Cameraman, how does this look on me? <laughs> I'm with Carol Varga, a longtime resident of the city of Brooklyn. Carol, I know you've been coming every year to the picnic. Yeah. Yeah. Why this picnic? Because I love it. I I see all my friends I haven't seen for a while, and I'm a, I love Brooklyn. I just love the area. It's great. Brooklyn Pride citywide. That's it. Brooklyn Pride citywide. <laughs> You've been a long time resident of City Brooklyn. How was your day in the park? Fantastic. It was fantastic. I really love it here. It was very, very nice. You had a wonderful day. You saw a lot of your friends. Oh, yeah. A lot of my friends. A lot of people. A lot of my friends. A lot of people. I had a good time here. Um, it, was, it was one of the best Brooklyn's I ever had. John, I want to thank you for sharing your day. Thank you, John. Gallagher, I am having such a wonderful time at the Brooklyn Picnic, the Thirsty Dog, the Hofbra House. I know you have upcoming events in the fall. Can you tell the viewers out there just some of the upcoming events? Absolutely. So um, it's a great time. Welcome back to school. This is our wrapping up of the summer. Um, I, I just first want to thank for the businesses. Uh, the businesses in the Chamber of Commerce put this great event on for residents. Each year it gets bigger and bigger uh, with additional fireworks to uh, kind of wrap up the summer and the night. Um, and we're excited to invite residents out to our fall festival, which is September 29th, noon to 6. It's a great family-friendly event. Um, we do hay rides for the kids, pumpkin painting, uh, the balloons. It's just really fun event for kids. So your, your kids or your grandkids, come on out to that. And of course, everything else, um, everything else that we do throughout the year, especially our favorite, is when Santa oh, comes yes. to Brooklyn yes. that weekend. Oh, so oh. stay yeah, stay tuned for that. You'll get a monthly newsletter that will be printed, so all the events will be in there, so uh, look out for that. Mayor, I am looking forward to the Fall Fest. Thank you for this wonderful picnic. I've had a wonderful day at the picnic in the park. Beautiful blue skies, green grass, and the great residents of Brooklyn. I had Thirsty Dog beer, just a sip. I had honey candy from the Bittner Bee Company, and I saw the match of matches. Bubble soccer at its best. It's all about the community, the residents coming together. Brooklyn pride, citywide. Love you, Brooklyn.